This is where I slept last night. I'm the only one here. What? Welcome to Great Sand Dunes National Park. We're gonna spend the day exploring after we enjoy this view. Okay, one more. It looks like the sun is just starting to hit the sand dunes, so I'm gonna give you another time lapse. Grilled cheese and coffee for breakfast. Today, we're gonna climb up there. If you're new here, my name is Laura and I'm on a mission to see every national park in the continental US this year. I'm back in the beautiful state of Colorado. I've already been to Rocky Mountain National Park this year. Today, I'm at Great Sand Dunes. Then I'm headed to Mesa Verde and Black Canyon of the Gunnison. There are three hikes in the park that go to the tallest dunes. The first is Hidden Dunes. That's on the other side of the park. We have High Dunes which I think is right there, and Star Dunes, which is behind it. Star Dunes is traditionally the highest point in the park, but the ranger mentioned that Hidden Dunes is stepping up to the plate. So they're tied right now. This is the one we're gonna try for. She said the first time she hiked it, she actually missed Star Dune and then had to come down and go up again. So we're gonna try not to do that. I do have it loaded on my GPS so that I can see where it's at. Hopefully that'll make it a little easier. But there are a lot of people out here with their sandboards and their snow sleds. If you wanna see how that went for me last year, make sure you check out that video. I absolutely loved sandboarding, but wanted to try something new this year. I'll link it in the description so that you can check it out. Also. They usually have showers here, but it's too late in the year and they're turned off. So we're on our own with not getting too sandy. I don't know about this. <laughs> There are no people over here. <laughs> if we were gonna do high dune, we'd go up there. So that means we must be close to star dune. All of these paths go at an angle. So I wanna walk past it on the map because the angle will go back. Also, there's no human prints, but there are paw prints. Anybody wanna tell me what those are? 
think it's too small to be a mountain lion? Oh, I don't know. It's probably 30 feet. Ooh, that's probably... Okay. I have officially made a mistake. I stopped here, I ate half my lunch, I still have a sucker in my mouth, but I took my shoes and my socks off. And now I have to convince myself to put them back on. Before I rested, I was convinced that I'm done hiking for the day, <laughs> but now I think I need to go over that and see if there's a better way up to that point. Either way, we're gonna go around the next bend, which is normal for me when I'm hiking. I don't know if we're gonna make it to the top, but I guess if it's gonna be windy, we gotta get going. <laughs> At least where the wind has really beat down the sand, it's harder. You can see that's how big my footprints are here. And over there I was sinking in forever. I haven't seen a person for probably an hour. to do all day and it's not fun <laughs> I didn't make it very far how am I gonna do this I'm just gonna pick a spot over there and I'm gonna hike towards it I'm worried I'm gonna stand up Farther. What am I doing? <laughs> oh no, a sand slide. Oh, oh no. What? Is this bad? It'll stop, right? I'm safe. Very sandy, but oh no, is it gonna come for me? That's insane. Okay, we'll try not to have that happen again. Hate to be responsible <laughs> for losing the sand dunes. I've never been known to be graceful. <sighs> We're here again with the shoes off. Um, I've reached the point where I don't want to go up any farther. I don't even really want to go back. The problem is I'm really far away from the van. Uh, the visitor center is over there and that's miles of driving to the van. The problem is when I look at how high this is, it looks at least as far as it does down. So that means I'm not even halfway, but that is Star Dune. I think for my sanity and my enjoyment of the day, I'm gonna hike back down. It is so cool to just be out here and not be around other people and just have escaped the crowds. I am in the wilderness of the great sand dunes and that's pretty neat.
that. Oh, we are getting out of here. <laughs> wow. That was not enjoyable. It's gonna keep happening. I see it on every dune. Oh, oh no. This is not ideal. super disappointed <laughs> but I have to go over this one and there's really no way around it I'm just gonna do it as fast as I can Yes, those are people on the horizon. They are over there climbing and sandboarding and can't wait to be back within their range. as the sand dunes. Whew. Okay, I have cleaned up after hiking. I came back here so I can get my picture with the sign. Unfortunately, I just missed going to the visitor center and refilling all of my water, but there was also someone there trying to get in and he was really eager to get a map because he was here for sunset. Not only was I able to give him my map, I told him the best spot I thought he could park for sunset. Sunset is in about an hour. It does not look like it's gonna be as pretty as sunrise, but 
we will still wait and see. So the plan is to actually head back into the park a few miles, park about where we were. We may or may not get a pretty good sunset. So sunset has not been spectacular, but for right now it looks like this is what we're getting. It's 11 o'clock at night. There's 20 mile an hour winds according to like the weather.com and it's just shaking the van so much I can't sleep. So instead of staying in our super awesome spot here by the sand dunes, I am actually driving into Walmart in town. So I'm headed to Alamosa. I won't get to see the sunrise at the sand dunes tomorrow, but I will get to sleep. So I'm gonna put you away and I'm gonna head into town. Okay, just finished up getting some coffee this morning here in Alamosa. This is the town closest to Great Sand Dunes and it's one of my favorite towns next to a national park. Last year, I did a full trip around all four of Colorado's national parks. Great Sand Dunes was one of my favorites because I got to do sandboarding. I got an amazing grilled cheese at the Oasis and it's exactly what I wanted with adventure and it's just so pretty. You have to check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's one of the first 15 videos that I made and I still love it. Now, over a hundred videos later, we're back. <laughs> this morning, I got to enjoy coffee here in town at this cute little coffee shop. I even got a bag of coffee to go. I've been looking for something to use in the van that's a little more local. Whole pound of freshly ground coffee. It smells so good. But then I had to get iced coffee to go. Because we're moving on today. Hopefully you enjoyed our time here at Great Sand Dunes National Park. I've noticed that I stopped filming at the end of hikes, mostly because I'm trying to use all of my energy to get back to the car. But today I wanted to show you what it really looks like when I'm dragging my feet back to the van. I could not wait to get to the point where I could take my shoes off. I was happy to make it back to the van though. Next up for me is Mesa Verde, but we have a few national monuments to check out on the way, so we need to get started. Luckily, we have plenty of caffeine. Continue on US 160 West for 59 miles. 